today we are here testing out the new Moza Aircross S. So I want to test out how much weight can this gimbal actually take and we're using a Sony A7 III with a Tamron 28 to 75 and we're going to do seven cool shot and transition that you can do with this little gimbal. Make sure you stick around until the end because I want to show you guys the result putting all the shots together all the transitions together and we're going to start right off with Pascal right here we're going to go in the palm tree jungle just behind me and we're going to chuck him sideways and we're going to use foreground to transition into the next scene as a mask. Let's go get the shot. Alright, on to shot number two. We're going to have the same shot of him running down here, but we're going to shoot at 50. It's going to be a bit more of a static shot and at the end of the shot we're going to pan the gimbal around like this to create some motion blur and transition onto the next shot. Also remember to always use ND filters just so you can keep the shot at too low and have that nice natural motion blur in your shot. And in this case I'm using a palm tree as a foreground just to add a bit more motion and framing. Right now we're going to follow him from behind. And we're going to start a shot of him running and then slowing down, starting to walk. We're going to pan from behind him very close to his shirt and then away. And we're going to use his body to transition to the next shot. Next shot is one of my favorites, which is long lens wrapping around the subject while he walks and we're gonna do this at 75 let's see oh. all right looks like it works so let's give this shot a try we're gonna wrap around the subject while he walks down Alright, for this next one, I'm going to switch back to 28. Switch back to 28 and we're going to try a shot where Pascal is going to run very fast on the beach and I'm going to try and follow him very fast, but in under sling mode, which is pretty much when the gimbal goes upside down close to the ground. As you can see, I can't really do it right now because of this setup is not fitting well with the gimbal, but I'm going to play around with it and make it work. Let's see if be steady enough. Okay, the next shot is pretty much the same shot, but we're gonna be in front of him running backwards with a longer lens to create a bit of a dolly zoom effect. Let's see how that looks. Alright guys, the last shot I want to show you is the perfect way to close the sequence which is an establishing shot. We're going to shoot this at 28 millimeters, and I want to see everything I can see in the scene. Our subject walking in and looking at their eyes on. And we're going to use these two trees that I just found to frame our subject better. All right, we're gonna edit all of these shots together with some cool music, some cool sound effects, and this is what it looks like. All right, that's it. Hope you guys like it. If you wanna check out this gimbal, the Mozart Aircross S is linked below on the first line in the description. So go check it out for yourself. I would say I recommend this for a smaller mirrorless, not necessarily for an A7 III, for something a bit smaller, not really this setup, something like an A7C or a 6500. Check this out in the link in the description and I'll see you guys in the next videos.